Hey everyone, Extreme Trains here. And in front of me you can see that next installment is, funnily enough, another member of the Steam Team. Uh, or at least, you know, assuming the Steam Team continues in the way it has. This review will be looking at the excellent Emily. Um, again, you can see, curious looking model, fresh from the packaging. There's a the price I paid for it, you can see online. Uh, that's cheaper than it is from Australian stores like Toys R Us and Maya, which are the main chains or in fact the only chains really that stock these products. Anyway, we're gonna crack this open and take a look. What are you waiting for? Let's do it. Okay, so this bio is, uh, I think it's right. Again, it seems like they've adapted a lot of Edward into other characters in lacking him in the show. Um, Again, he's still meant to be in the show, but less so. It's I think it's very, very interesting, though. They haven't made a toy of him or Henry in this new Thomas Wood line, so I think that says quite a lot about where they're headed in the show, which is unfortunate, but also I think they were very poorly used, so meh. Um, okay. Emily is strong. Is she? She's a Sterling engine. She has one driving wheel. That's just a lie, but okay, that's fine. Occasionally strong-willed. Yep, that seems right. May thinks she knows best most of the time, but most of the time she's right. I mean, that's kind of the plot of, like, multiple episodes, but sure. Every group of sensitive somebody's caring and sensible, and that's Emily. They seem to highlight weird words, and again, it's just, like, not consistent. Like, it's like, she's strong, but she's also caring and sensible. Oh, and also she's a know-it-all, but she's not. But she's also a voice of reason. Like... How can you be a voice of reason if you're a know-it-all? I just don't think you can be both of those things. Like, to me, these character profiles just don't make sense. Like, they use phrases which I think are just contradictory, um, both to the character as they are in the show, and also just to the way it's explained. Like, I think, you know, usually Emily probably saying she's a voice of reason, reason isn't incorrect, but then also saying she's a know-it-all probably, without more explanation, seems really weird. And then why mention she's strong? Like, what's the point of that? She's just not. <sighs> anyway, let me know your thoughts on this. I think it's really weird. All right, we're gonna open her up now and do the fun stuff, which is the actual toy inside. Okay, so Emily's out of the packaging and here she is in all her excellent glory. So firstly, again, I'm gonna just do the classic appraisal spin around in front of the camera so you can see what she looks like before I start yabbering on. She is not crooked, yay! Unlike my Gordon, boo! You can see, writing Emily underneath. All right, so in terms of the front, starting from the beginning, a very good place to start. I think Emily's face is good. It's another good CGI face. Um, mine has a little mark on the top of its head. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. There you go, there's that little black dot above her eyebrow, which is like a bit of paint that went missing. Like as in it went to the wrong place. Lol. But yes, otherwise it's got a very good face. I quite like it. It's a very Emily CGI toy face, which I think is fine. Again, I like the detail of the buffers, and again, if she's got, again, they're distinctly different buffers. Like, if I compare it to Thomas, they are different, and she does actually have a different width. Like, she is narrower at the front, which I think is, uh, you know, not quite accurate per se, but it allows you to kind of get that, that illusion of her being a bit longer and a bit more grand, I think, which is fine. Um, I like the molded details in the smoke box here that we've got her coming down for those, you know, iconic kind of... It looks almost like hair, if you, you know, imagine there's like curly bits and a little kid drawing hair. That's what it looks like. Again, nice details on the side. Um, I think they've, you know, done a good job with the chocolate, the lining here. This is nice. Uh, does she have a hole for the driver's cabin? I don't know if she does. I don't think so. Now that I think about it a little bit more. Again, nice. The arch is obviously, like, too big, but eh. Again, you can see the way that she kind of comes out blocky. I think, for example, her front-on is is nowhere near as bad as Thomas. I still think Thomas has the worst front-on. Hers, because of the curves of this part, really disguise the fact that this is quite square. Uh, and then you can see she's got the printing along the top there. Gold-printed dome. That's nice. I'm glad that they recognise that even though they didn't want to give her a real dome, we will at least paint the spot where her dome should be the correct colour. Green roof again, that's good. Um, I've already kind of talked about this part on the side. Nothing on the back, as per usual. Again, this doesn't look too bad because this lines up with the wheel for the most part. Um, again, somewhat surprisingly, they've actually given her a big wheel, um, which is good because I know they could have very easily not done that, but they have kept her signature big wheel. I don't know if this is bigger or as big as her previous wheels were. I don't have 
wooden Emily, so I couldn't tell you. Um, but I think it's a, you know, seems right. Let's see what year these wheels were done. 2016. 2012. Maybe they're new wheels. I'm not sure. These definitely aren't new wheels, but these might be. Um, again, though, like you can see, there's a bit of plastic kind of flashing on this one. Where it's come out of the mold weird. There's that bit of this coloured section there. There you go. You can see it right on the bottom. It's a bit discoloured. Yay, quality control. But anyway, that's Emily. Emily's tender, as we're quickly correctly mind on the bottom, is again the same as all the other tenders. It's a brick with some painting on the side. Again, I think Emily's works even probably the best of all of them I've reviewed thus far because she does have a pretty much square tender, so it's kind of okay. Again, they've gone quite nice amount of detail with the different colours. Why there's a gap between them, I don't know. Um, and the little railing thing. Rip nothing on the back or the front. And they've got the coal thing on the top with the hole. Which again is nice, if a little bit sad. I think, again, this time it makes more sense to do the whole printing because it is very square and the, it is the whole thing. So, yay, this one makes sense, even if the other ones are really weird. Uh, but yeah, I think her tender is alright. In terms of her as a whole package, I think, again, I think Emily looks not too bad as Thomas Wood because she has a square tender, it's not the worst thing ever. They kept her signature wheel, so I think that kind of fudges it. Um, I think, again, if we compare her to Thomas, she starts to look a little bit smaller than she should. And I think that's because they, you know, her face is lower down. It's not much bigger. Um, there's probably less, I think there's actually less wood in her as an engine than there is Thomas. So I think the scale between these two doesn't quite work as well as it does with Gordon. But uh, if we just get Gordon out to compare. I think, for example, this looks okay because they're both big-ish kind of engines but you still feel like Gordon's bigger, which I guess is a plus. Um, something interesting, I'm going to start grabbing Diesel 10. Uh, Diesel 10, definitely, I didn't talk about this in his review, but because he didn't have any other engines, but he's actually shrunk a lot, and he does look a bit silly, because now he's a little engine, even though he should be a big engine, like, bigger than Thomas, but he's the same size. Uh, I think, you know, for example, Diesel 10 is a lot less scary now than he probably should be. Emily's bigger than Diesel 10. Hmm, that's probably wrong. But anyway, done now. All right, so... That's my quick little review of Thomas Wood Emily. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, I think she is, again, probably one of the better Thomas Wood items. I think she has does a pretty good job. She has a good face, as importantly. She's got decent detailing, considering the detailing they're actually doing in this range. Uh, and she's got a, you know, she's got all the important things to make sure that we know that she is Emily. And unfortunately, that's kind of the bar we have to set at this point. So yay. And the QC wasn't awful. But otherwise, I love to hear your opinions, as per always. Let me know your thoughts on that, um, particularly on the character bio. I don't know, some of these are so weird. All right, that's what I've got time for. This is Extreme Trains.